Hello and welcome to a new CSS Tech Talk. My name is Kurt Schreller and today we're going to talk about the Tab 1. The Tab 1 is designed for the Trinity 2 and our remote heads. And Tab 1 stands for Top Attachment Bracket. So the main idea of this bracket is to ensure once the camera is mounted at the base, we have another attachment from the front which allows us in the remote head to carry longer and heavier lenses and in the Trinity 2 it allows us to move the camera at any angle even high speed and to ensure the camera will not start to vibrate or do any kind of unexpected movements. To be able to use the tab 1 on a Trinity you need first the SSP4 bracket so this is a must before you can attach this guy. To touch this is quite simple you just take off the yoke and then you take the base. There's two four M4 screws. And later we're going to place the base right on the SSP4. But before we do this, let me explain also the choices this yoke offers you. So this way, if we mount the yoke this way, the yoke is quite far away from the base or the SSP4. But let's say on this 50 millimeter rods you have some motors which are in the way. You can even shorten the setup by just taking off that wing arm, not fully. Then you take off the clamp lock and just put it to the other side. Bring back the wing nut. Putting it back on the base block and you see the tab one is much, much shorter. When you use this on the Trinity, then you should put this side up, where you can see the name of the prop. If you use it in the remote head, just flip it over. So this way, you can compensate higher cameras, or like in the uh, remote head, we have a, a wider diameter in the ring. So by flipping over even the base component, you can bring the yoke into the right height compared to the camera. So to mount the Tab1 base against the SSP4, which is already mounted to the ring, we need a 3mm hex key. So first what you're going to do is you're going to move the first screw to the end of the slot. Then you bring it to the SSP4. Then you move the other screw right to the end of the slot. And then you're going to tighten this side. Tighten this side very well. Then you're going to add the yoke. And now to prove that this design is really a part of the complete balance concept of the Trinity, let me show you something. On top of this, I already prepared what we're going to have to mount to the top of the Trinity. So this is the access rail system, and this is especially the cube. At the cube, I mounted two extenders and two times 150 gram counterweight. Now we're going to place this on the excess rail, which is already mounted to the top of the ring. And of course, I'm taking the short rail to ensure whatever mounting will be right away in the center. Because now this is centered because you used only the outer screws. The base of the tab one is already perfectly centered. And of course, we're going to make sure that even the yoke is perfectly centered. And now you will see that both components together allows us to bring the outer ring immediately in a perfect neutral balance. Because as we all know, the entire Trinity balance is based on neutral elements. So we want to have a neutral camera setup, we need a neutral Trinity head setup, and this combination will give you this immediately. Now this big wing nut in the front allows you, once it's open, to move the top yoke up and down and left and right. That side clamps are for the 50 millimeter rods which have to be mounted before on top of the camera. So now to get the camera inside we have to remove the yoke but there's no need to remove the base of the top one because everything here is perfectly designed so the camera will fit through without removing the base. So let's put in the camera. So as you can see, it's tight, but it works. So let's move in the camera. So as you can see, I already mounted the camera. 
and of course already balance the camera. So in this setup we find out the best way is to have both motors on the left side. We added some weights here at the back, 150 grams up here, another 150 grams down there. And that's it so far. So there was no more weight needed. But just make sure before you start the final balance process that you have a media installed in the camera and of course that the audio department also uh, mounted all their little bits and pieces. To make the tap one working perfectly for you, make sure that you're using minimum 150 millimeter rod. Of course, two rods are even better because then we can definitely hold the camera much better from top because this is the main idea of this bracket. So open up both clamps at the side, move them onto the rods, and once the camera is in the final position, just lock all four wing nuts. Now let's say you have to do more adjustment later, hopefully not side to side, but maybe fore and aft, just open the wing nuts before you start pushing the camera fore and aft or side to side. So just make sure all the nuts are loose, and once you find the final position, then make sure that the wing nuts are fully tight. Make also sure that the wing nuts holding the rods at the camera are tight on both sides and uh, that all the four screws here are tight and all the screws at the camera are fully tight because again, don't forget, whatever is loose will produce any kind of vibration, especially high frequency vibration. So really make sure that all your components are fully tight. Okay, now let's bring back the mat box. Now let's open up the tilt lock and let's see if we approached a good balance in the end. As you can see right away, this position is good. Now we're gonna to turn to the left 90 degrees and horizontal position is achieved. We go 180 degrees to the right side We are good, a 90, another 90, and let's see at the bottom side up, it is working good. Now let's go in a 15 degrees angle like this, we are good. We are good. This is good. Good. And the left side. This is good, and this is good. So the conclusion is now, because we're using the tap one, because we're using the accessory rail system and extenders and the 150 gram weights up here, we managed that the outer ring is perfectly neutral balanced, which allows us in the end that on the camera we only use in the end three weights. 150 grams on top, 150, at the bottom and about 75 grams at the right side. But make sure you have a recording bay in the camera and that the audio department also put everything to the camera which was needed. So I hope this little tech talk will support you next time when you set up your camera and hope to see you soon again. Have a nice day.